Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com here to bring you your love forecast for June. Will your ex return? So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the current situation. So what's currently going on between you and this person, the feelings, how do they feel about you? Will you guys reconcile and some advice? You guys can check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign for more information. Of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. All those links are in the description box below. All right, so let's get started on this. All right, so what's going on with my Capricorns? What's going on between my Capricorns, my Capricorns, ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about the most? What's currently going on between these two romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. So I'm going to lay down all the cards first and then we're going to go over them. All right, we have the Two of Cups energy, we have the Four of Swords energy, the Fool card energy. The Eight of Cups energy, the Three of Wands energy, and the World card energy. So give me a moment. I just want to tune in here to see which which stands out for me the most. Hmm. Well, the first thing that stood out for me, interesting enough, um, is the shadow on this uh, Four of Swords individual. Okay, you can see that there's a shadow there, right, from them. So I'm like, there's still some things that seem to be uh, in the, the background somehow. That's what I feel like, in the background somehow, some kind of, hmm, some kind of, I want to see the right words to this, um, so there's still some things that are seem to be like, I don't know, just not showing the full uh, situation, okay? And, and then if I look at this card, what, is, what does this card mean? Four of Swords energy. It's about someone who is thinking, contemplating, and planning. So it's almost like there's some things happening in the background that are not being completely seen about the situation with that shadow being the thing that stands out, right? Because the shadow is just a, uh, it's a reflection of someone else or like, you know, it's, it's, it's the light going on that person and showing that person's image, but it's not exactly that person, right? So for me, it's like that when that shadow stood out for me, it was like, there's still some things, there's things going on in the background or underneath the surface that are not being completely revealed or there's not a full picture or there's not a full understanding of things, right? Um, and also the other thing that stood out for me was this little flower, this little flower at the bottom here, you see that? So for me, it's like almost like when springtime, when, when you know uh, the way springtime, uh, you'll see that things are clearing away and clearing out and then there's gonna be little growths that happen, little flowers that pop up, right, out of nowhere. And it's like this flower seems to be popping out of that card out of nowhere. And it's like because of this thinking, contemplating, because there's still some things that are forming here around the situation, there is some good things that are coming out of that between you and this person at the current situation. Now let's go even deeper here. So I also feel like I'm looking at this child and child represents uh, something new, something fresh. And this child has a ball in their hand. Well, that represents games or playing, right? So there may still be some, a little bit of game playing going on here, <laughs> which is also some, uh, some things that may be hidden or some things that may not be being completely revealed. And it's like one person's in, but they're out. And uh, there's, there's a form of risk around the situation. Someone does feel like someone's playing a game or there's feeling like there's still a risk around the situation. So now let's see. Two of Cups shows me that there is something to do with a love or a soulmate connection or choice being made with the heart. And obviously there's a lot of thinking and contemplating 
about the situation and there is a person that feels like there's some kind of risk or they want to take a leap of faith here but they're kind of like in but they're out because there's still a little bit of baggage there if i look at that that full card energy because there's some kind of truth that needs to ring true about the situation there may be a friend influencing this somehow because also even in this card i see there's another person or there this person also looks like they're spying on the other person which also could be why that shadow is standing out for me there may be somebody spying on somebody here um or looking to see what they're doing or up to um and then i got the eight of cups energy it's like there's still a want to kind of argue here or a friend's kind of talking to the other person you can see in this card there's a dog and it's barking at the other person who's walking away which is the eight of cups energy and there's a waiting around for the right opportunity or waiting for success here but the door is open it looks like the door is open and then the world card is there is something to do with travel, maybe a long distance situation, or there's still something that needs to be completed here. Something needs to come back around here. And uh, the, the reason is, is because the Eight of Cups energy, because of the fact that someone had, it's, it's kind of walked away from their emotions. And now they're kind of like, or physically or mentally walked away. And now it's kind of like a waiting around for that opportunity for something to be completed. And then that's also, if we mirror these cards, that's why there's some kind of risk here. And there's a want to make the choice with the heart because there is a person that feels like either you or the other person feels like there's a soulmate connection. And they feel like there still can be something completed here around the situation, right? And there's two dogs here. So dogs represent friends. So there could be some, maybe you guys are still kind of friends or there you have some interconnectedness going on with a friend or friends. Um, yeah, okay, so let's keep going. So we look at the numbers. Two is about a choice. Four is about stability and stableness. Eight is about putting the work or effort into it. And three is building a foundation or having more than one choice or option or somehow some other person is involved with this. Okay. So let's see how they feel. So how does Capricorn's love interest, ex-love interest feel about Capricorn? How does Capricorn's ex-love interest feel about Capricorn? How does Capricorn's ex-love interest feel about Capricorn? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so we have the Hermit card energy. We have the Two of Wands energy. We have the Page of Pentacles energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles energy. And we have the Eight of Pentacles energy. So again, I see, and even in this card, it's like the first thing that stands out for me is, look, there's multiple people in that card, right? Where there's some kind of people that are influencing this connection somehow. Because like, it's like, um, and, and they're playing a game again, something to do with some kind of game going on here. Or someone feels like someone's playing a game and this, this is the game where they feel like there's a risk involved with this. Hmm. Interesting. Now let me know in the comments below Capricorn. Yeah. This is interesting about this whole game thing. that keeps popping up here. Okay. So the first thing that, that definitely stands out for me is these three people that are in this card. And what does this card mean? It's about choices. So what is going on with this choice? So there's a there's two people and they're playing a game. And then this other person's like overseeing the game. So I do feel like there is somebody that's like involved somehow or looking over it somehow or influencing it somehow or um, doing some things pertaining to it somehow, this choice that needs to be made here. Hmm. And uh, this person has been doing some deep soul searching with that hermit card energy they've been going within to really figure out this connection and what is this choice about we'll come back to this what is this choice about what is this risk about what's this game that someone's playing or someone who feels like there's some kind of risk around this game something to do with family and long-term commitment so they feel like capricorn they want to make a choice because they feel like there could be some family and long-term commitment and again we see a dog in this card dogs are loyalty friendliness or friends right so they're wanting to make a choice here with you because of something to do with family and long-term commitment and loyalty and they've been doing that deep heavy soul searching now what i can say about the feelings is they do feel that there's potential for you for a long-term commitment they do feel like they want some type of family long-term commitment with you okay 
Um, but they've isolated themselves here with the Hermit card energy. And you see that there with the Nine of Pentacles energy. They've isolated themselves and they've, they've been focused on themselves there with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Or something to do with someone who needs to be single and available here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. And they feel like something needs to change here because the butterfly is in the card. So this person is going that deep, heavy soul searching, the spiritual going within with that hermit card energy because they're like, there's something that needs to be changed. And then I feel like there's a garden card energy. So it's almost like they want to socialize here. They want to isolate themselves, but on the same token, because this is the garden card energy here, this picture reminds me of the garden card. It's almost like they want to isolate themselves, but on the same token, they kind of want to socialize here. So it's coming back to that four swords energy. Maybe they're trying to figure out what's going on with you somehow, because I'm seeing that there's multiple people again in this card, like almost like this person has isolated themselves, but they're kind of looking at you from afar. You see what I mean? Like, okay, so you see those people way, way, way in the back, and it's like the butterfly is right in the front. So it's like this person's standing, there's, this person's perspective is where the butterfly is at. And it's like it's looking there, it's looking there. And then also, if you look ahead of that, or uh, on top of that card, is the hermit card energy. So it's like this person's trying to take their light and shine it on there. So it's like, uh, yeah, there's some kind of spying, or they're trying to see you from afar or they're seeing or they're analyzing the situation from afar because they feel like there's some kind of risk here around the situation. Page of Pentacles saying that they have potential, they feel like there's potential for a long-term commitment and they're trying to make that decision to put the work or effort into this. So they do feel like there's a solidness to this connection with the Page of Pentacles. There's potential for something serious here, but then it's like they're, they're looking at you from afar, seeing you from afar. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so if we look at the numbers, two is a choice. Uh, nine is about wish fulfillment. Ten is about some kind of completion. And eight is putting the work or effort into that. Okay, so let's see if you guys want to reconcile. So will Capricorn reconcile with their ex-love interest? In the month of June, will Capricorn reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of June? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords energy. We have the Three of Swords energy. And we have the High Priestess. Hmm. So it feels to me like someone does want to speak their truth about their heartache. And the High Priestess is something that's secret. <laughs> Well, it's, this seems to be the theme about this reading. It's like something to do with secrets, some kind of something that's going on behind, behind the surface here. And then you're seeing that also again here. Uh, because it's this person that's alone. They're alone in their room and they're writing things down and they want to speak the truth. And obviously the High Priestess card means secrets and heartache here. There's a longing. There's a heartache going on here of wanting to speak a truth. So I would say there, there's a, there's, there's definitely a more of leaning towards no for this month at this time, only because there's still some things that need to be spoken here. There's some truths that need to come out about the situation, and there's still something anchoring things here. If you look at this card, you can see there's an anchor there. There's an anchor. And again, there's a dog in that card and birds above that. So there's some influences going on, something to do with loyalty, something to do with a friend possibly, and something yet to be revealed with the High Priestess card about the situation. So there's still some secrets or some things that are beneath the surface. And three, again, is working towards a building a foundation or a more than one choice or option, something to do possibly with another person involved. Okay, so let me get you guys some advice here. Can I have some advice my Capricorns? Romantic love life pertaining to their ex for the month of June. Can I have some advice my Capricorns? Romantic love life for the month of June. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So here's some advice, Capricorn. Ah, so for some of you, there's some kind of wedding, marriage, something to do with that involves the situation. Uh, past relationship here. Okay, some kind of commitment to a past relationship here. Hmm. I see. 
and paying attention to red flags around that. That makes sense. As I said, there's something for some of you going on where there's something hidden beneath the surface and then it's saying some kind of commitment, marriage or engagement to some kind of past relationship. Something to do with the past relationship is affecting things and they're saying pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, I feel that. All right, Capricorns, let me know in the comments below, guys. I haven't seen a reading like this for you guys for a while. Um, guys, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I will be releasing the weeklies tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Guys, try to have a good rest of your month. I love you guys, and I'll be seeing you soon.